continuing our series of stories on the March 20th primary. A powerful Chicago politician faces a serious, though first-time candidate in the race for Cook County Assessor. Joe Barrios facing his first challenger since 2010. And WGN's political reporter, Timon Bradley, here with a look at the Assessor's race tonight. Tom and Dina, good evening. This is a red-hot contest. Cook County Assessor and County Party Democratic boss Joe Barrios has been primaried. Barrios is accused of producing flawed property tax bills that provide breaks for the wealthy at the expense of everyone else. This skyscraper along the Chicago River, 300 North LaSalle, sold for $850 million back in 2014. A year later, when it was time to collect taxes, the Cook County Assessor valued the building at $392 million. That's a difference of more than $450 million. How do you explain that? Income, the income approach and the appraisal approach. If you go look, go back to the courts, they have issued rulings saying that the income approach is the best approach when it comes to commercial property to figuring out what the value is. To some, it may seem like a $450 million tax break. But Cook County Assessor Joe Berrios told us, by law, his office must value 300 North LaSalle based on income from the preceding three-year period. He cannot assess property based on speculation. It seems unfair, but Barrio says there's nothing he can do. If I were to put it at that $800 million, and then they go to court, and they put it back down at the $400 million, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have a refund huge that the taxing bodies are going to have to give back. This may well make sense under the law, but for Joe Barrios, assessments like this have become a political nightmare. The Chicago Tribune and ProPublica Illinois published the Tax Divide series last year, shining a spotlight on Cook County's property tax system. The paper exposed widespread errors in assessments under Barrios, providing tax breaks to wealthy property owners while punishing poor and minority communities. The Tribune is coming after me again, just like they did six years ago. But you know what? At the end of the day, I will persevere, persevere and then we will make it another four years of Joe Barrios. Assessor Barrios is up for re-election this year, and the tax assessment issue is at the center of the campaign. Financial portfolio manager Fritz Kagey is challenging Berrios in the primary. We have a system that's massively regressive that transfers wealth from the poor to the rich and favors uh, downtown skyscraper owners at the expense of everyone else. When, when those guys are given big favors, everyone else has to pay more. The good news is that this is an executive office where we can put into place the changes that are needed without needing anything from Springfield. Kagi, a first-time candidate, says he wants to run a new model to conduct assessments, make assessment data available to third parties to scrutinize for errors, and he vows to end the practice of accepting donations from the property tax appeals industry. Barrios is facing $41,000 in fines for failing to return campaign donations from property tax appeals lawyers who gave more than the legal limit. When you get a gentleman like Fritz K. who can write himself a check for a million dollars, two million dollars, you know, that's fine and dandy. But, you know, the, the assessor's office is not for sale. You know, I don't care who gives me money or to contribution. We think this office has been so ethically troubled that people want an ethical assessor, they want an ethical candidate. An independent study of the county's residential assessment practices conducted by the Civic Consulting Alliance confirmed findings from the Tribune series. What the CCA report showed is that we really have a grotesque anomaly in Cook County in the percentage of properties that are being appealed. If you're an insider, you've learned how to navigate this system, you hire a clouded law firm, then you can cherry pick amongst uh, exceptions to benefit yourself at the expense of everyone else. Barrio says he takes the CCA report to heart. We are going to make a lot of changes. We're going to make changes for the good. But the thing is, you know, I understand what needs to be done. Despite all the questions surrounding his office, Berrios, who also serves as chairman of the Cook County Democratic Party, maintains support and key endorsements. The assessor is running this radio commercial. This is Secretary of State Jesse White. Let me tell you about my friend Joe Berrios. As Cook County Assessor, he has protected homeowners, made the office more accessible while cutting his staff by 25%. And he's on television with this message. Joe Berrio stood up to the NRA, writing the landmark law outlawing guns in schools. And his guns have nothing to do with the assessor's office, but Berrios is talking about them. He's also highlighting his work over the last seven years, changing the system to get tax bills out on time and expanding exemption savings for senior citizens and veterans. Berrios may be trying to change the subject, but many Chicago insiders say they've made up their mind and want Berrios gone.
those that benefit from this corrupt system need to be held accountable. Joe Barrios has had his opportunity to fix the system, and he hasn't, so he's got to go. Complicating matters, there's a third name on the ballot, Andrea Aurelia. She was kicked out of the race for fraud in her nominating petitions, but the ballots were already printed with her name on it. Kage is unhappy. Obviously, he wants the folks coming out to vote against Barrios to vote for him, mm -hmm. Tom and Dina. That does complicate things. Quite a bit. Tomorrow. It's Cook County. Yeah. Very interesting. Imagine Thanks, that. Taman. I know you've been hard at work at these. And then tomorrow, taking a look at the race for Cook County Board President. To watch all of Taman's election profiles and learn more about the races so that you can make an informed decision at the ballot box, head to WGNTV.com slash decision 2018. Thanks, Taman. Yep.